pneumolysin, a toxin, is produced by a bacterium called Streptococcus pneumoniae. Now this bacterium is one of the most dangerous bacterial pathogens in the world. It's the number one cause of bacterial pneumonia, causing millions of deaths each year. It's also a significant cause of bacterial meningitis. Because the toxin plays such an important role in disease, we want to understand how it works at a molecular level, and we also want to find ways of inhibiting it. And if we can do these two things, we believe we're well down the track of finding a new treatment. So an important part of understanding how the toxin works was to know about its structure. And one of the techniques we can use is a technique called X-ray crystallography, which is a method of determining the structure of the toxin. So what we have to do is we produce large amounts of toxin and we crystallize it. Once you see crystals, you can then sort of optimize the conditions. And what we're aiming to do is to generate high quality crystals that diffract very well. Once we've got the crystals, we then took them to Diamond Light Source, which is the national synchrotron facility, and we use the x-rays there. And when you use x-rays, on these crystals you get diffraction patterns. So what happens is the x-rays are scattered. Most of the scattered x-rays will interfere with each other destructively, so producing nothing, essentially cancelling out, but some will uh, uh, interfere constructively and what you get is you, you'll get a spot on your detector. And from the pattern of spots and the intensity of the spots, it's possible to generate a density map, which is the map of the structure. So one of the really interesting features of the structure is that uh, the way the uh, toxin molecules pack in the crystal reflects that the way they assemble on the cell surface, so the way they stack together, they form these side-by-side -side arrays on the cell surface, which eventually form these pores. Then, having formed this structure, it undergoes a change in its structure to form a hole within the membrane of the target cell, and the formation of this hole is critical to its action. So what we need to do now is we need to design a drug which does exactly the same thing really, that targets those regions that come in contact with one another. So if we can block those contacts using a small molecule, which would be a drug, that would inactivate the toxin. So it would stop it forming the pores and stop it killing the cells. Well, I think in science you need a, co a combination of optimism and realism. So of course we were optimistic that we could do it, but we also realised it was a major challenge. One of the difficulties of obtaining structure is that it's not uh, entirely obvious how one goes about obtaining the crystals. So that was the element of the unknown. Once we obtained the crystals, we knew we would eventually get the structure. 